Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, Weird and Wonderful. Because I felt like doing a weird and wonderful thing today and lo and behold the workshop has quite a few things on it at the moment uh, which are weird and wonderful and by on it I mean stuff that's been recently added. So I might just do a weird and wonderful binge, who knows. In any case, this is the dragon, spelt uh, D-R-A-G-U-N, dragon by Lion, and this thing in particular caught my eye, firstly because uh, wonderful derpy face, and secondly because of the workshop description, and reading it out in its entirety, it is for those people who say making fun stuff takes 1000 hours of playtime. You're absolutely correct, Lion, you can make fun things in From the Depths within minutes. Will they be optimized? No. Does that matter? Also no. This thing makes me happy. So, uh, I have basically no notes on this because really, like, you just go through it piece by piece and there, there you see. See, we've got this wonderful derpy dragon face. It's got a bunch of missiles in there, so it breathes fire kindly. Uh, kindly. Uh, kind of. It flies in a hilariously derpy fashion and it's got a lot of spin blocks to make a kind of a sinuous body. And... It just, it like flies like crazy, but that's not a bad thing because it dodges stuff. And let's just go over the interiors a little bit. And it's got lots of spin block shenanigans and a bunch of repair blocks exposed. Uh, so yeah, this is the main body right here. Everything else is just kind of spin blocks. And so you see here, spin block right here. And they're all set to respond to various things like uh, the head seems to be responding to yaw and pitch. And there's a thrusty thing up there. Let's see here. Jet engine. Okay. So let's pause the game because this thing wiggles around a lot. Let's see. What's this uh, that is uh, attached to pitch down? And this fella here is... What is this? This is all very interesting in here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Really interested to see how that thing is attached. Probably with more spin block shenanigans. But yeah, like... Let, under a thousand hours, yeah, you can make something like this. I can see kind of hints of that. Like, exposed repair bots usually mean... Um... um I guess, like, it's not necessarily a noob thing to do, but it is something I see quite frequently on, like, uh, players with less experience, let's say, because uh, these things should absolutely never be shot at. Um, but yeah, like, I am not, I'm not saying, I'm not, I am not criticizing. I love this thing. So, uh, as we hop along, we can see here, uh, there's a particle cannon uh, down there with some steam engines uh, for absolutely no reason other than that's cool. It's got, uh, really need to pause this whole thing. Let's hit caps lock. So, because it's all on spin blocks, it uh, can be a little bit interesting to find. We've got a fuel engine back here that's not an injector. Lots of turbo... Oh my goodness, this is actually... What is this? This is... Oh my word, this is great. This is great. This is a uh, most efficient kind of a... Uh turbocharger base engine actually it's just um i mean you could put a supercharger uh, on it and that'd be even more so Wait, does it get more? i guess this is just how much power does this have uh power to stable power is 180 so a lot of the power of this thing well it's got huge custom jets and it's got the electric uh engine probably and it's got uh, materials oh there's an rtg back here oh and there's defensive flares uh, I should test that actually. I'm gonna spawn this uh, spawn in the Corsair. I think where is our friend the Corsair? Let's see how well you do. Also, it's a golden opportunity to show off how this thing attacks. It just spits loads of uh, little things, and it's got a particle cannon, uh, and then it uh, rolls away. It flies away. It swims away through the air and sprays flares, so it actually doesn't do too badly in a fight, which is rare. Uh, well, it's not that rare. It's just unexpected for something that's clearly meant to be kind of a silly build. Um, but yeah, does just fine. I guess wiggling around a lot uh, really helps with dodging missiles, so that's basically it. That's all to say about the dragon, but I love things like this because I always fail to get around 
uh, to building stuff like this. Uh, but it's just it's just fun. It's silly. It's not 100% a meta or aesthetic build, which is always nice. And yeah, this like this clearly, Lion. I reckon you had fun making this, and I'm having fun looking at it. Uh oh, its ass has disintegrated. That's bad. That's bad. And that's why uh, putting everything on spin blocks is not your best idea. Actually, I'm just curious about something. Let's go here. Let's see here. I want to see. Uh, oh, ah, interesting. There's no yaw on the jet engines. Which is like, it's not a problem. Where are we? Okay, so this thing is not the best in a fight. Um, ah, I appear to be falling into the ocean. That's bad. Repair all, and let's hop back onto you. So yeah, like, I encourage everybody to occasionally make something just wacky and silly like this. If nothing else, because this face brings me such joy. I need to start putting figureheads on the kind of compulsive canoes I keep making, so... This has given me ideas. And that deco, right there. Let's see, what kind of deco is this? That kind of deco is this. Let's see, what's here? It's a different deco. Interesting. This is... It's a Mimic Sphere, and then another Mimic Sphere has got this kind of wild-eyed, crazy look. Actually, actually, actually. Hello, what is this? I wasn't even looking at this in uh, Fleet Colors. I was looking at this in Onyx Watch Fleet Colors. Let's load my regular Fleet Colors in. Oh, yes, we've got... Uh, we've got a Psycho Mime Dragon now. Oh, that's awesome. Well, this video is probably already about five minutes longer than it needed to be, so I'm gonna leave it there. Everybody should go play with this thing. This thing just derping around in the sky will make your day better, I guarantee it. So thank you so much, Lion, for putting this uh, up on uh, the workshop. Let's actually follow. Let's follow this thing along, because that's good. Yay! Janky as hell, but wonderful. Anyway, so... Where was I? Alright, thank you, Lion, for putting this up on the workshop, uh, together with the inspirational uh, message. This whole thing is inspiring, actually. And thank you so much for watching! Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in Weird and Wonderful for more Weird and Wonderful things. Oh, this dragon is having such fun. Farewell.